This is the first section on chapter three, algorithms on graph, and this is Kruskal's algorithm. Now, before we go through it, just a reminder of a de definition of something called a spanning tree. Well, a minimum sp or a spanning tree is a tree that visits all the vertices of a graph with no cycles. So we're now going to move on to something called a minimum spanning tree. So a minimum spanning tree, uh, often shortened to MST, or it can be called a minimum connector, is a spanning tree of minimum weight. Now, what does this mean? This means that we connect the vertices to each other and the edges will be weighted. There'll be some sort of number on there that represents maybe distance or time. And uh, we want to connect the vertices with the minimum possible total weight when we add those edges together. And we can use Kruskal's algorithm to find a minimum spanning tree. Right, so the first thing we do in this algorithm is we're gonna list all the edges in the graph in ascending order. In other words, from smallest to largest. Next, we're going to start with the edge with the least weight to start the graph off. So this would be the edge at the start of our list. Now, next step is to look at the edge with the next highest weight. That would be the next one in the list. If this edge would form a cycle in our tree, then we don't use it, we reject it. Um, if it doesn't form a cycle, add it to the tree. Now, it may be that the next um, edges that you have both have the same weight. Uh, if that's the case, if you've got more than one choice, look at each one in turn, and it may be that there's only one choice you can make because one of those is going to form a cycle. Maybe one isn't, but consider each one um, uh, and don't just sort of reject it outright because they're both the same. Choose one, see what it does you might find that after choosing that one, you get a cycle at some point. So you have to go back and choose the other one. And the last step is to repeat um, this previous step here until all the vertices are connected and we have our minimum spanning tree. So we're gonna use Kruskal's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree for uh, this network that we have here. List the arcs in the order that you consider them. State the weight of each of the weight of your tree. So the first thing we need to do is to list the edges in order of weight. OK, so there's a list of my edges in ascending order. And we know that we start with the very first edge in our list, so I'm gonna list it there, and I'm gonna sort of draw here that edge. So E, D, and four. Okay, so now I go to the next one on my list, which is E, A. Now I can add E, A, even if it's um, somewhere else in the diagram. So it could be over here somewhere. Now I've got two choices. I can either add E, A, or BC. So I'm going to consider both. So I will have EA here or uh, BC. Neither of those will form a cycle. So I'm going to split the diagram like this to show that actually I'm going to try both choices. So let's consider this left side here. Let's say that I add EA, which is five, like this. Then the next one that I add would be BC. So that would be this one here, BC, still no cycles, which is five. So I'll just add that to my list. So BC, which is five. Um, then after adding BC, the next one that I would add would be AD. Now AD would form a cycle. So I skip AD and then I look to see whether I can uh, join um, 
BD, and actually there's sort of two choices, isn't there? I've got two of six. AD, okay, that's, so that will form a cycle, so we end there. Or I could add BD or DB, which is six. So that's the route I'm going to take. So it's a bit like a factor tree. This bit, whenever we get to a cycle, um, we stop. So let's add BD. So that would be here, which is six. And you can see I've actually now connected all the vertices, A, B, C, D. There's no cycles, they're all connected. Okay, so I'll just put MST here. I've got my minimum spanning tree. So there's actually no need to go down this route because I would have chosen EA next anyway and sort of carried on and would have got to this solution. But, you know, we want to show that we've considered both options. So um, here's my minimum spanning tree here. And what I need to do is the total weight. And all I do is add together the four, the two fives and the six. So I get a total weight of 20 on this particular minimum spanning tree. Okay, so we're going to use Kruskal's algorithm to show that there are four minimum spanning trees for this network. So the first thing we're going to do is to list the edges in ascending order. Right, so here's all our edges here. Now, since it says we're going to find four spanning trees, minimum spanning trees, it's going to be the places where I have two options um, for choices of edges where I'm going to get the differences. Now, that's not going to happen at the start because A and AD and BC are not going to form cycles. So whether I pick AD first or BC second, it doesn't matter because if I pick AD first, then I'll pick BC. If I pick BC first, then I'll pick AD. So this is not where the um, the differences are going to come. It's probably going to come here where I've got the two tens and here where I've got the two twelves where I've got the choices. So I'm going to start with AD. Now it doesn't matter if I start with AD or with BC. They're going to be my first two. So let's just highlight those two edges. B, C, A, D. Now we've got two choices for the uh, next edge that we pick, either A, C or C, D. Now, if we pick um, A, C, that's not a problem. We can get here, so that doesn't form a cycle, so we can carry on with that. After we've picked AC, let's see what we can do next. Can we pick CD? No, CD would form a cycle. So we'll just put down here CD, which is 10, that would form a cycle. So we're gonna skip it and then go on to the next edge, which is EF, that's fine. That's not gonna form a cycle. So we'll just add on here EF, which is 11. Then we've got these choices here, either CE or DE. So let's just write that down. So CE or DE. So if I pick CE, then I'm going to have an edge here. No cycle, so I get a minimum spanning tree. What if instead I picked DE? Yes, I can do that. So I would also get a minimum spanning tree. So let's write down what the weights of those are. So to find the weight, obviously we just add the um, edges all together. So weight equals so what have you got? We've got um, 8 plus 8, 16, plus 10, um, that's 26, plus 11, plus 12, 
so we get a weight of 49 on both of these right so now let we'll draw these two spanning trees at the side here and then we'll have a look at this route if we choose cd instead so here's my minimum spanning tree number one from this route and my minimum spanning tree number two from this route so let's just clear this and um well we know that we already have chosen ad and bc so i'll we'll highlight those ad bc then our next choice is picking cd which is 10 that's fine it doesn't form a cycle next would be um choosing ac now we can't choose ac because that's going to form a cycle so just write down ac 10 cycle okay so that means that we um skip let's spell the word cycle correctly we're going to skip that um ac and then go on to ef which is 11 that's fine so we'll add that on there so ef is our next one which was 11 then we've got these two choices of the different 12s haven't we ce which is fine or de um, which is also fine so try and squeeze this in we've got, now got two choices here so we can pick the ce and get a minimum spanning tree here like this so i'll just put minimum spanning tree this would be minimum spanning tree number three or we could pick the de here like this and get our minimum spanning tree number four and if i add these up i see also that they have the same weight of 49 so I'm just going to now draw these two last spanning trees here. And here they are, those last two uh, spanning trees, all with the same weight. And notice that none of the spanning trees use either of these edges here. You should now be able to do exercise 3A on pages 56 to 57. Just a quick recap of the algorithm um, that's here, Chris Cole's algorithm. And one thing to note with Kruskal's algorithm is that um, when we add edges to um, a graph to find this minimum spanning network, the edges can spring up in different places. So you don't sort of have edges joined to previous edges. That doesn't always happen. You can have edges that spring up in different places, but then they end up all being joined up at the end.